many people may know uh, that emails are actually like postcards okay and when they are sent over computer networks it's always in plain text meaning that when they are stored on your machines user machines the servers or when they travel across a network anyone can see them if they have access to them so uh, meaning that uh, including your back updates and it can be readable by anyone who have access to those things so those are the, the, the ways that uh, emails are being used today and they are very vulnerable for sensitive data leakage actually the, the main issue with the existing secure email solution is not so much with the vulnerability that they are not addressing it's uh, rather its usage okay uh, more specifically, it is how difficult it is to use uh, the email security functionality by the normal user. All right? uh, secure email technology has been available for the past uh, 20 years. And in fact, they are available for freely available open source uh, solutions. But, uh, and today, actually, it's also available in most of the commercial email clients software. And look at it, I mean, not many people are using them today. Um, there's very little adoption and uh, because it's basically too difficult to use. Okay, email is the most common way uh, in which information are being exchanged in most of the government organization today. So uh, sensitive and classified information are frequently uh, sent via email within a government body or across different agencies. Uh, it is therefore important for the government email user and they should be trained to uh, treat sensitive emails like they, how they treat sensitive paper documents. So they should be trained to do at least the same kind of uh, security protection with their email, especially when they are sending sensitive information across the email. Okay, I would say that most uh, government would be concerned about the security of the public cloud email solutions, especially if they are sending sensitive information over the email. Um, with secure email solution in place, theoretically, it is fine to actually send sensitive information uh, even in the public cloud, uh, public email system. Uh, the reason is because your email content and your email attachment are actually protected and only the intended recipients can view them and can decrypt them. Uh, however, uh, for public cloud system, uh, some government is still concerned about information like who is sending email to whom and that information is not protected even if you encrypt the entire email you need to uh, the system will know who you're sending email to and if that concerns the government the government probably will opt for private cloud kind of a secure email solution uh, so that that people will not be able to find out anything at all about the email communication so in, in some sense um, if cost is a concern and availability is a concern Yes, the government can make use of the public cloud and even to the extent of sending secure email. But uh, uh, if you want absolute security, definitely you shouldn't be using public cloud email system. For, for email in the public cloud, I mean, um, basically that, that is uh, the place where your email data and so on are stored in someone else's uh, data centers and so on. So without any kind of secure email protection, basically your emails can be read by anyone, uh, including the hackers, including the cloud operators, and uh, including anyone who handle the backup data. So, uh, so, so that definitely is not usable if you are sending secure email, a uh, sensitive email, okay? But if you have a secure email solution in place, my answer is that yes, it will provide quite substantial amount of protection because people cannot read the email content, cannot see the attachment that is inside your email. And if you're not concerned with people who get to know who you're sending email to who and so on, that kind of stuff, then that, as I said, is a theoretical question. It's, it's theoretically okay it's from security perspective that people cannot see the email content, people cannot see your attachment. but. Uh, could they discover other information like you know who is sending an email to someone at what particular time and so on and so forth whether those information are considered sensitive in nature and if so then definitely you should go to private cloud or even hybrid cloud so that the sensitive email can stay within the protection of the government infrastructure and the less sensitive email potentially can go to the public cloud the best practice for secure email is to basically make it very very simple to use 
and hopefully without having to train the user to use it. Okay, we believe that one simple way to achieve this is to duplicate what people have been doing with the paper documents. Okay, in, in, the, in the usual way where people handle, uh, government handle uh, census documents, they label it. They chop a confidential on top and below the paper document or they put secret. And all the users know how to handle such document, be it putting into a secure envelope when they send it from one government body to another, or to lock them up at the end of the working days and don't leave them on the table. So that's how we handle uh, various other policy in terms of handling sensitive paper document. So why don't we do it on the email as well? We can also do the same labeling of sensitive email, putting label like confidential, putting label like secret, and then apply the appropriate security policy on them. And the beauty of uh, email is that it's digital and you can apply the security policy automatically without having the user to think about it and all your security policy will be imposed on the email that is classified and labeled and handled properly without having worry about the security breaches that may happen to those sensitive email. Uh, breaches in email security come in many forms. Okay, uh, One can easily intercept any unencrypted email all right, and one can change them also while they are being transmitted over the network or being sort of a store before forwarding to another email server on the server side. Uh, you can also change the uh, sender's information and in common terms we call that email spoofing in which uh, email seems to come from someone you know but actually is sent by an attacker to you. So these are all the various ways that email could be uh, uh, breached and, uh, and, and solution has to be put in place to protect your sensitive email. And secure email solution actually uh, does that to a very large extent. So if your email is encrypted, you basically prevent anyone looking, intercepting your email and seeing what is inside there. You prevent people from modifying it because once you modify it, an encrypted email will become garbage when it's received by the end user. And if you apply something called digital signatures on the email, and then you can prevent email spoofing because uh, no one can change the email or change the senders without being spotted. So secure email can largely solve a lot of email uh, security breaches. There are many types of uh, security policy that one can impose on email with uh, proper labeling. Okay, as a basic requirement, you probably want to digitally sign and encrypt all the sensitive email, things that is labeled as secret or maybe even the email that is labeled as confidential should be signed and encrypted before it's being sent out. Furthermore, one can also impose other kind of rules on the uh, classified emails that you send out. For instance, uh, some company may actually impose rule and they check the classification label. If it's a classified email, they would not want to forward the email to uh, a mobile handheld device because they felt that the mobile handheld device is not as secure so therefore the classified email are being stopped from being sent to the mobile handheld device or you could also impose rules that anything that is classified up to a certain uh, a classification label should be archived in a secure vault in the company system so that it can be used for future purposes and so on. So basically all this can be used as a means of uh, controlling for you to uh, help to uh, control your sensitive email communication. Okay, so to support multiple uh, email platform, today people use not only uh, Windows, Mac, they use uh, iOS device, they use Android device. And how do you support secure email across all these multiple platforms? Actually, the simple answer is to adopt the SMI standard. SMI standard is the secure email standards that is currently supported by almost all commercial email software, including all the free open source email software. So it means that any encrypted email that you have, you send, the other party within the same organization or external party with almost any other secure any other email software that they have will be able to decrypt your email and send back another secure email back to you. So that allow you to communicate easily with uh, anyone, okay, and not worrying about the kind of email platform that people are having. 
The, the remaining thing people need to uh, deal with is key management. Okay, so you need to have a proper key management in place to make sure that you can do key renewal or you can do something about when the user lost their key, you can duplicate the key for them or to revoke a key if you felt that the key has been compromised and so on. So all these are part and parcel of having a good uh, secure email solution regardless of the platform that you have. Of course, it would be ideal if you have an email labeling solution on top of that that can help you to provide a secure email solution without having to train the user to think about well should I encrypt this email or not because most users doesn't understand whether they should encrypt or sign an email but they do understand what kind of security classification I should give to that email and while doing that the email will be automatically protected in accordance to the policy that the government or the enterprise have. Secure email has been around for 20 years free. Today all the commercial email software has the secure email component as my standards but people are not using it. Why? Even though for technical people like me, secure email seems to be easy to use. Okay, we, we are technically trained, we can use it. Obviously majority of the users in the world have no clue of how should they decide whether a particular email should be encrypted or not. The secretary doesn't understand this. Okay, the, uh, the graphics designer may not understand this. They either encrypt everything or they end up not encrypting anything. All right, because they can't tell the difference. But people have been dealing with sensitive paper documents all the, all the time. And how do they deal with it? Okay, they deal with document with labels. And that is something that's well established. The user understand it, especially the government users. They all have been trained to know how to handle classified documents. Alright, so why do you want to train them a totally different system in using email? Why don't you let them use the same system, which is basically labeling the email, which is like what they do with paper document, they label the paper document. And in this particular case, you don't even need to worry about how to handle the label email because it's digital, it's computer, and computer can take over and impose the security policy automatically and therefore without having the user having to do anything and you already have all the security in place. So that's how, how we look at how secure email should move forward. That it should not be back to the technology. The technology is there, signing, encryption. We actually have other solutions like DRM. So uh, uh, you want to impose additional security like you don't allow the recipient to copy the email, you don't allow the recipient to print the email. You can even have like Mission Impossible style of destroy the email after a certain time period, okay, so that you can actually fully protect your email, okay, and all these things can come together in a secure email solution.